<laughs> Welcome back, folks, to Fishing Planet for our different types of spinning retrievals. Uh, you guys have been asking about this for a while. I want to be very clear, there's definitely more than five, but I, this was something really cool I found on the Fishing Planet page. Um, we're actually going to be going over 11. Uh, I believe there's eight total from Fishing Planet and then three that are kind of my own or uh, just ones that I picked up over the years. Uh, and also, guys, stick around for the whole video because there's, there's a lot of information in this even for advanced um, fishermen in this one because there's a few of them that I found work for me over time. Um, but anyway... Let's go to the lake and let's get started, folks. We are at White Moose Lake here. I'm off peak, so hopefully I don't get a bunch of fish to interrupt this. But we're going to talk about straight and straight slow first. These are both the same ones. Uh, the only difference is the speed. So we're going to go ahead and just let it go down in. You can let it sink to wherever you feel comfortable, whatever depth you're fishing at. Um, and... We'll get more a little bit into the depths later in the video, and you're just going to reel in just like this. Um, and do not worry about what it says on the right-hand side. Uh, so uh, the reason we'll get into why you don't worry about that later, but you're just reeling in. You're either holding your left mouse button or a right trigger, depending on what platform you're on, and you're just reeling in just like this. Um, now, straight slow is the same thing. You just do it with a slower recovery pole, uh, so you bring it in just slower is all. Um, and that is straight and straight slow, folks. Now, I want to be very clear. There is multiple ways to catch every fish. Each one of these retrievals will work for every type of fish. So I don't want to uh, say this is the best way or this is the only way, or I'm not going to specifically mention what fish are best or, you know, what is best for each fish very much uh, because any of them can be used for anything uh, now while straight is really easy to use for me it's probably one of the least effective other than when i'm using a crate bait so as you can see here we're turn, we're going to do stop and go and that's basically the same thing except for you're letting go of the line coming in and you are just hitting uh your reel in button which is left mouse button i believe on pc or right trigger for other platforms and you just do this. And one thing I will say with this is if it is a slow time, like normally during for, during this time, I would be going much slower with this. Um, if I was trying to catch fish, uh, you, you kind of want to slow down as you're fishing the same. Uh, you know, you don't want to go super fast with that one on a very slow period. Uh, you won't have too much luck. But that... Straight or stop and go is generally my favorite. I use it more than anything else um, that we'll talk about today. Now for lift and drop, you just reel in and then strike, reel in and then strike. Make sure you're letting it sit back in the bottom. One downside to this, however, is this one catches on a lot of stuff on the bottom. And you can only use it on the bottom. There's no way to lift and drop um, at the surface. Um, and a lot of times you'll snake stuff on bottom. I used to use this quite a bit. Works well for bass, but I generally don't use this one too often anymore. Now, for the last one the game tells you about here, this is twitching. And you you can do this one of two ways. You can actually uh, hit your strike button and then reel in. Or you can do it how I do it. And that is a lot of times I'll just reel straight in and just... You know strike my pole once in a while that will work too um they, they both work as you can see the twitching pops back up like i said i wouldn't worry about what it says on the right hand side though we'll get into that again a little later if you were to ask most players in the game uh most advanced players in the game most people are going to tell you stop and go and twitching works they uh, work the most or that's what most people use Honestly, that's also what I use the most, too. Um, and now for the extra ones that we're going to talk about here. Okay, this next one, I don't ever have a name for, but a lot of us do it. Um, and, and I don't do this very often anymore. I used to use it a lot more. 
but basically in a crankbait you generally always just pull it in um, but on this way you kind of stop and go with it and let it float up to the surface and then bring it down it's kind of like stop and go but you're doing it in longer spurts and this is kind of good for uh, getting fish at different levels especially if you're using a deep crankbait um, but this one does work too if you guys do like crankbaits a lot of times I just pull a crankbait straight in though on one speed okay now for one that you guys know on the channel pretty well this is one I use besides stop and go probably the most I call it sky twitching and what you do is you hold your strike button and point your pole up to the sky just like that and then you just do stop and go so you're gonna just pull the line in let it go pull the line in and let it go then um, it pops up as uh, twitching that's why I call it sky twitching you just have your pole aimed up to the top now as you can see there it got a hit pretty quickly there's a huge benefit to this over other ones as we got a fish and the big benefit to this over other mechanics or other retrievals is that a fish will either miss like it did um, the first time or it will hit like this one did it's not going to play around very much with your uh, line and so you're going to get a very direct answer off the fish because a lot of times if you guys know when fish do that i uh, kind of on the line but i'm going to let go thing it'll pull your line out so a retrieval like this is something that i use a lot for for example uh best by bass when you have all them little hits all the time from the little fish and they like to drag your lure all over the place if you sky twitch it'll just miss and it'll stay right in the line so this one is really nice if you're having problems hooking fish um, because it will self hook or the fish will just go away. Okay, for uh, this next part, this is kind of the top water section. There's uh, a few that you can do here uh, for uh, top water, uh, for, wa for walkers, just to get them to walk, by the way, if you guys don't know how to do this, it's pretty straightforward. You just reel in. And then they go ahead and then they hit your strike button every once in a while and they'll kind of do this um, swerve and that's pretty straightforward this is how I use most walkers most of the time um, but I will show you another way here in a second and then also here with poppers um, to get them to pop, do the popping if that's what you want to do you can actually go ahead drop it into the water and just the same thing uh, it's a, almost exactly the same thing as walking you just reel in while hitting your strike button every once in a while um, and that's how you get a uh, to do the popping mechanic on top water I didn't realize there's so many retrieval types definitely more than eight <laughs> anyway for the other top water and walker one you can just cast out you can nudge it twice if you want right when it get in or whenever it says stop saying popping on the right hand side i call this top water drag you're just reeling this straight in and uh there you can see a there we go um and you don't have to be dragging it all the time you guys you can see right there just dragging it across the top of the surface works and you don't even uh don't even need nothing to say on the top right you can just cast that one straight out and pull right in and for our last one this is a top water one i call nudging or uh, lazy man fishing um, and as you can see here we caught two trophies dolly varden's right away with it and what you're just doing with it is you're casting and you're just hitting your strike button every once in a while I'm gonna bring it in just a little bit there we go now you can see here I'm gonna start nudging it we will get bites this almost never fails at Alaska um, as you can see here we got two trophies with it and I want to be very clear, if you guys didn't notice on the top right of the screen, the retrieval doesn't say anything. Um, and I want to be very clear about that. that you That's why it doesn't matter what that retrieval says. As you can see, we got a fish right away here. This is another decent one. This actually may be a unique, actually. Um, and this is works really, yeah, that's a pretty solid unique, in fact. Um, and that's why I want to be very clear that that retrieval thing on the right hand side is very deceiving. Don't worry about getting your three dots when you're doing your retrievals. That doesn't matter at all. In fact, when I do stop and go, 
almost all the time when I'm doing it at my best, when I'm in a good rhythm, it's almost always two dots. In it, um, but in you, this would never work if retrievals mattered. As you can see here, we're going to get another bite. And it's another decent fish, it looks like. It looks like a trophy bull. Um, but um, maybe another trophy dolly here? I can't tell. It's a little small. Yeah, trophy dolly. Yeah, it's a little smaller one. Um, and that's why I want to be very clear about that. Don't pay attention to your retrieval. If I went off a fishing planet system up to the right, I wouldn't have actually caught a fish right now. This is non-existent. It's not supposed to work. And so, uh, and like I said, I think more importantly than your retrievals a lot of times is your depths um, and, and stuff like that. So there's a lot to pay attention to. And every, there's a million different ways to do each retrieval as we keep fishing here. I'm going to see if I can get another one yet. We're a little past where we go. Um, but hopefully this helps you out, guys. And uh, um, actually, that might be a trophy bowl, too. So as you guys can see, <laughs> all trophies and uniques. And I had nothing pop up on the right side. I just want to be very clear about that. I think people worry too much about that that uh, the tapping and nudging thing, uh, I mean the, uh, the retrieval and the dots on the right-hand side. They do not matter at all clearly, as you can see by me doing this right here. And there's another one. So hopefully this helps you out, guys. We'll see you next time.